Getting real on the terror threat, I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Well, call it another example of the broad strata of civilization. Another person arrested on terror-related charges, this time in Fort St. John, British Columbia, which, if you don't know, is in the northeastern part of the province. The RCMP announced the arrest late Friday of 30-year-old Othman Ayed Hamdan. They charged him with counseling to commit murder for the benefit of a terrorist group, counseling to assault, causing bodily harm for the benefit of a terrorist group, and counseling to commit aggravated assault for the benefit of a terrorist group. Yet somehow the media in this country, while reporting on the arrest, they'll do that, they're going to continue to want to play down the threat of Islamic terrorism in this country and convinces that well, the real target, the real threat, that's white supremacists and right-wingers. The Toronto Star's Michelle Shepard, the, the national security reporter for Canada's largest daily, she was recently pushing this story. Here's the headline, the unbelievable headline that they published in the Star, the Red Star. Right-wing extremism, a greater threat in North America. Really? In the story, she uses out-of-context data, a problematic report from the far-left New America Foundation, which is dripping in politics of blaming your opponent. And in her piece, she shows proof of right-wing attacks by discussing the June 2000 murder of a teenage immigrant in Quebec by a pair of teens, one of whom worshipped Adolf Hitler. Shepard says the murder of Aylin Otana Garcia was not really reported on, not, not enough. I disagree. I reported on that story in Montreal. It was covered there. I would also disagree with her classifying this horrific murder as terrorism. That's stretching the definition of the word. And I would also argue that a teen worshipping Hitler is not a right winger. Hitler, leader of the Nazis, the National Socialists, they believed in German nationalism, they believed in socialism. The left needs to stop claiming Hitler was some right-wing conservative kook. He wasn't. He was a socialist. But all of this is just part of a larger pattern to deny terrorism is a problem, specifically Islamic terrorism, or to at least downplay it by drumming up a false equivalency with invented right-wing terrorism. Now, I'm not saying attacks by the fringe groups or individuals on the right don't exist. They do, just as they exist with fringe groups and individuals on the left and in causes, including the environmental movement, native protesters. But when that's discussed in a report or referred to during the debate over something like Bill C-51, the consensus media will shriek and say, you can't possibly make those claims. But if you want to claim right-wingers are lurking around every corner and are a danger, you're going to get free reign. Let's look at the facts, though. Othman Ayed Hamdan, arrested Friday. In Ottawa alone, we've got Ali Omar Ader in custody for the kidnapping of Amanda Lindau in Somalia. Remember, she was the Canadian journalist kidnapped by an Islamic militia staying in the nation's capital. We've got several other terrorist suspects in jail. Asho Peshtari, Ashton and Carlos Larmond, and Suleiman Mohammed. Those are all men picked up in Ottawa in the last six months. And it's a story replicated across Canada of people being arrested for plots, being arrested for trying to join ISIS, or we find out after the fact, like John McGuire, that they're already there fighting for ISIS and trying to recruit more Canadians to the jihadi cause. And of course, we have two, yes, two terrorist attacks late last year that killed two of our soldiers. But don't worry, the threat isn't from radical Islam, it's from right-wingers, real or imagined. And that's what the consensus media wants you to believe. It's not true. You know it. They know it. But it fits a narrative. It fits their worldview. Thankfully, the truth is known by the people making the arrests. And to me, it looks like they continue to look in the right places.